All right, example number five, looking at actuator uh, load calculations for, you know, from a mechatronic standpoint, which is a uh, trying to integrate actuators and uh, drives, doing some basic calculations. In this case, the T2 Art Club designing a robot for competition, differential drive weighs 1.5 kilograms, each wheel is 20 centimeters, drive shaft, blah, blah, blah. Team wants the robot to be accelerate at 0.1 meters per second. Assume it has internal Coulomb friction equivalent to a climbing to slope. Does that motor work? Ooh. Quite being nice just to say no and be done with it, but we need to do calculations to determine our answer, yes or no. So let's start with a schematic. Uh, it looks like I have two cases. I've got this uh, friction and acceleration. So let's look at our schematic first for acceleration. Start there. So here's our little robot. Maybe it has a little caster here. Cute little thing they're making. Some center of mass. And it looks like they want the thing to accelerate, or call it X double dot, at a rate of 0.1 meters per second squared. So um, I'll apply Newton's second law, F equals MA. And uh, my mass is 1.5 kilograms, but I've got two wheels. Let's think about one wheel at a time. So I'm gonna divide by that two for two wheels. So I'll just consider one shaft, one, one wheel, one motor at a time. So I got two wheels. So I'll just assume one motor is responsible for half the weight. That's my divide by two times my acceleration, which is 0.1 meters per second squared. So that's 0.75, so it looks like that's gonna be due 0.075 newtons. All right, and then we had our equation torque related to force, so torque is R cross F. Our R will be 20 centimeters per 10 centimeters times F, which is 0.075, because R is perpendicular to F. In this case, my R is here, my F is here. So that gives me uh, 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 0.75 Newton centimeters. So that's my torque to accelerate is 0.75 Newton centimeters. Let's see, how much do I have? I've got eight times 9.81. So is that about 80, 78 Newton centimeters of torque? So, so far, so far, good. Next, I need to consider uh, the friction. So let's start with some schematic to consider friction. Now in this case, notice I set up in the problem, stretching, I pinched my back. Okay, notice on this problem, I set it up and I said, uh, what did I do here? Um, equip friction, okay, so I know these art guys. They are better programmers than their builders at times, so I assume they have some friction. They're always gonna have friction, I'm just picking on them. Uh, you can list it in different ways, but here I just said, assume it's equal to climbing a 10 degree slope. So it's got a small slope the robot's climbing, okay? And we'll just determine the friction that way. Honestly, I do that a lot, it works pretty well. Um, you know, you could calculate it by just taking your robot, building it, disconnecting the motor, set it on a board and increase the slope until it starts to move. That would be your friction. That'd be a static case, but um, so here we go. So here's our slope, here's our little robot. Okay, it's got some uh, mass. Maybe I'll put the mass center at the center wheels. Doesn't matter, coming down. So that's our MG, right? And uh, one component is gonna be normal to the surface. It's just balanced by the surface, but there's gonna be a component up here. That's what we're gonna So that's mg times, uh, that's 10 degrees. So that's gonna be the sine of 10 degrees, okay? So it looks like in this case, our force is mass times gravity times sine of 10 degrees. So that's gonna be uh, 1.5 kg divided by two. Do that one for each wheel times gravity 9.81 times sine of 10 degrees. And then we'll have to get the T, which is R cross F, which is going to be 10 centimeters times this thing in Newtons. 
And then finally, we'll get T friction to be some value. Let's calculate that. So I get 1.5 divided by 2 times 9.81 times, oops, sorry about that, sine. Got to remember in MATLAB, it expects the measure in radians, but that sine D actually is a, uh, takes degrees. It gives me uh, 1.28. Newtons, 0.28 newtons, or 12.8 newton centimeters. Okay, my total is 12.8 plus 0.75. Add them up, both up. What? Uh, yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to multiply that by 10. Okay, my bad. So it's 12.8 plus 0.75. I did the other calculation in my head. So that's 13.5 Newton centimeters. And I've got to compare that to my available, which was eight kilogram centimeters t motor is eight kilograms times 9.81 which is 78.5 so that's motor has plenty of torque so it's a yes. The end.